Hello everybody. Hi, I'm very pleased to be here uh, with uh, Hidalgo. Hi. Hello, how are you doing? We are in uh, MIT. Perhaps uh, you could introduce yourself? Uh, sure, I run the Collective Learning Group and what we try to do is to understand how teams, cities and nations learn and also we try to develop tools to facilitate that learning by helping teams and organizations deal with large amounts of data. So what is it, collective learning? Can you explain to us what kind of skills we need to develop to have this collective learning habits? So collective learning is the process by which large groups of people, whether they are countries, organizations or cities, acquire new knowledge. That knowledge moves across geographies. For instance, you know, there's more knowledge diffusion among geographically related or demographically related units. But there's also more knowledge diffusion when those units are also cognitively related, when they perform similar activities. So collective learning basically is a, is a way to describe the study of the different mechanisms that limit or enable the diffusion of knowledge across geographies, across organizations, and how that knowledge becomes valuable and helps people succeed in the market. And why is it so important for companies to have this new knowledge? Well, you know, uh, at the end of the day, economic value comes from knowledge, you know, and knowledge provides people when, especially when knowledge is new, some temporary monopolies because they're able to enter markets before other people. So in some sense, the, the, the leading edge of economic development or the leading edge of economic growth is people competing to be the first ones to get to a new technology, to develop a new business model, to be able to implement some sort of, you know, economic structure that allows them to capitalize on that knowledge in a world in which very few people can provide that same service simply because they don't have yet what it takes to do that. So knowledge is, is really extremely valuable, especially when that knowledge is new, few people have it, and many people want to benefit from the fruits of it. And what about the open data system now in many countries? Do you think it could help to have this new knowledge? It, it, it does help, but the systems are yet primitive. So we're working on making them more sophisticated and more useful. Uh, from data to understanding, there's, there's, there's a big gap. You know, you need to be able to organize the data. You need to be able to distribute it. You need to be able to uh, produce a visual and a statistical analysis on that data. And nowadays, all of those are separate parts of a long pipeline of processes that people have to participate from. So what we're trying to do is to integrate all of that into tools that allow people to analyze the data while interacting directly with the latest sources of information that have been integrated from multiple different departments and organizations. Thank you so much. So what we have learned, we have learned here that the collaborative knowledge is a critical resources for companies. And we need to know that if you want to be innovative and perhaps to be the first. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.